Hello and uh, welcome to this service for the fifth Sunday of Easter and I'm delighted to say that I'm not at home. I'm in uh, St Luke's Windbarney Church. We've been given permission now uh, to go into film services uh, in church uh, on our own and so this week I shall be in Windbarney, next week Cockrum and the week after that um, at Christchurch Glasson. So delighted to be here uh, today. Alleluia. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. It is right, our duty and our joy, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Almighty and Eternal Father. And in these days of Easter, to celebrate with joyful hearts the memory of your wonderful works. For by the mystery of his passion, Jesus Christ, your risen Son, has conquered the powers of death and hell, and restored in men and women the image of your glory. He has placed them once more in paradise and open to them the gate of life eternal. And so, in the joy of this Passover, earth and heaven resound with gladness, while angel, angels and archangels and the powers of all creation sing forever the hymn of your glory. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The collect for the fifth Sunday of Easter. Almighty God, who through your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, have overcome death and opened to us the gate of everlasting life, grant that as by your grace going before us, you put into our minds good desires, so that by your continual help we may bring them to good effect. Through Jesus Christ, our risen Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many mansions. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again, and will take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may be also. And you know the way to the place where I am going. Tom said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way, and the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, you will know my Father also. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father and we will be satisfied. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you all this time, Philip, and you still do not know me? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words that I say to you, I do not speak on my own. But the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. And if you do not, then believe me because of the works themselves. Very truly I tell you, the one who believes in me will also do the works I do, and in fact will do greater works than these because I am going to the Father. I will do whatever you ask in my name so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If in my name you ask me for anything, I will do it. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. That reading from John's Gospel is one of the best loved passages from the Bible. It's often used at funerals and has given comfort to many people in the hardest of times. Jesus spoke those words on the night of his arrest. He was trying to prepare the disciples for the shock of his death on the cross, to help them make sense of what was to come. From Thomas and Philip's response, it seems that on the night, he didn't have much success in that. But who could blame them as they struggled with Jesus' promise, in my Father's house there are many mansions. If it were not so, would I have children that I go to prepare a place for you? They didn't understand that Jesus was promising to take within himself the very nature and being of God into undeserved suffering and death. This was not what they or anyone else expected God to do. But in doing so, 
Jesus took God into the worst of places, showing us that there is nowhere God's love will not go for us. Showing us that God's love is unbreakable. It is eternal. His eternal love is the home that God offers us, and Jesus in his life and death had prepared a place for each of us in it. So Jesus, the crucified and risen Lord, is the way of God, the truth of God, and the life of God. Jesus is in the Father, and the Father is in him. This weekend we've celebrated the 75th anniversary of the end of the war in Europe, a war that was fought against the unspeakable evil of Nazism. We owe the generation that fought that war not only our freedom, but more even than that, we owe them our decency and our humanity, both of which would have been destroyed by the Nazis had they won. Yet through all the suffering of the Second World War in Europe, God was not on our side, rather God was by our side, tied in a loving bond with humanity, that Christ has proved to be unbreakable. Proof of that bond was the spirit of reconciliation with which Europe was rebuilt after the war. Amen. And now let us pray for the Church and for the world. Let us thank God for his goodness. We pray for your Church, Lord, that we may be of service to the people and the communities around us, loving our neighbours as ourselves in this time of, of the pandemic. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, as we give thanks for the victory in Europe against the evils of Nazism, and remember with gratitude those who worked, suffered and died for that victory, we pledge ourselves to the peace that they won. Lord God, our Father, we pledge ourselves to serve you and all humankind in the cause of peace for the relief of want and suffering, and for the praise of your name. Guide us by your Spirit, give us wisdom, give us courage, give us hope, and keep us faithful now and always. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful God, we give you thanks for those working to protect us from COVID-19 and for those maintaining our vital day-to-day -day services. We pray for the NHS, home, care homes, the shops, the utilities. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray too for our leaders, our leaders in government, in commerce and industry and in trade unions, for all who have to think about the future as well as our present difficulties. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful God, we hold before you all who are ill or struggling in any way, those isolated at home, those anxious for loved ones or themselves, for the bereaved. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have died, trusting them to the promise made by Jesus to prepare a place for them in his Father's house, your eternal love. May they rest in peace and rise in glory. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And as our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Before the blessing, I wish you once again, wish you well, and hope that you are well and, and your family. I'm sure it won't be long before things begin to loosen up a little bit more, but I think it will be a while yet. Nevertheless, it's lovely to be in church today. I hope you've had a good weekend, and uh, I wish you well for the weekend. The God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the eternal covenant, make you perfect in every good work to do his will, 
working in you that which is well-pleasing in his sight. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. God bless.